Hello, in this short video I'll introduce you to the terms elastic and plastic deformation and we'll have a look at the loading and unloading curves for some important example materials. First of all, the definition of elastic deformation is that the material returns to its original shape when the force is removed. The definition for plastic deformation is the opposite. It does not return to its original shape when the force is removed. Here we have a force extension graph for a material that obeys Hooke's law up until its elastic limit, which is this point here. You can tell it obeys Hooke's law because it has a straight line. Force is proportional to extension. During this period as well, the, there is elastic deformation. You'll see beyond the elastic limit, the material begins to undergo plastic deformation. That means it will not return to its original shape when the force is removed. What we have here is the loading curve for this material. This shows the extension as we increase the force step by step and plot a graph of it. What if we incrementally remove the force to plot the unloading curve for this graph? Well, up until the elastic limit, we should see exactly the same pattern again. It would follow back along the original line and return to zero here. Because the material is elastic, it returns to its original shape when the force is removed. Beyond the elastic limit, it's undergone plastic deformation. It has permanently changed shape. This means that if the force is gradually removed from this point onwards, the graph will demonstrate a shape something like this. You can see force is still proportional to extension during the unloading, but now when force is zero, there is an extension. This extension here is the permanent deformation of this wire as a result of the plastic deformation that's taken place up here. You can imagine this with a spring that has been stretched just a little too far. Once you've stretched it beyond its elastic limit, it will not return to its original length. And hence you can see the permanent extension here. Here is the force extension graph for a polymeric material such as rubber. You can see that it does not obey Hooke's law. There is nowhere on this graph where we have a straight line proportional relationship between force and extension. However, this is still elastic deformation. Hooke's law and elastic deformation are not necessarily the same thing. It's elastic deformation because when you remove the force, it returns to its original shape. There is zero extension at the bottom of the unloading curve. But you will notice it doesn't follow the same path backwards. What does this mean? Well, as we learned in a previous video, the area underneath a force extension graph is the work done or the elastic potential energy stored in the material. You can see here that the area underneath the loading curve is greater than the area underneath the unloading curve. This means that more work is being done to stretch the rubber band than is being released when the rubber band is unstretched. Where does that excess energy go? It goes as heat. This energy loss is known as hysteresis.